Continuing our coverage right now on a tragic day in Baltimore, a 16 year old is killed and four others shot outside Edmondson Westside High School just across the street from their school. Now, police say two gunmen opened fire on the group of kids, killing one and sending four others to the hospital. Now, it happened just after two uh, unrelated shootings across the city put another three people in the hospital. The shootings today accelerating a violent start to the year after Baltimore failed to curb violent crime in 2022. We are joined tonight by former federal prosecutor Thiru Vignaraja. Thiru, thanks for coming in. Thanks for having me. Well, this year, police uh, have reported three homicides. All of them, sadly, are young people through. Uh, what's driving the violence in your belief, in your experience, in, in terms of so many kids being involved? Kai, let me start by echoing the sentiments of so many that all of our thoughts and prayers are with the families of not only the young man who lost his life, but also the ones that are hopefully on the road to recovery. Um, this violence is nothing new. This relentless cycle, this broken record is happening because our city leaders are not taking action. There are laws on the books that have to be enforced. There are cases that need to be made against violent criminals. And if you allow open air drug markets to happen year after year in front of a public high school, it's only a matter of time that violence ensues. We know the city has a new top prosecutor, Ivan Bates, sworn in earlier this week. Uh, yesterday, actually, he's promising mandatory minimum sentences on illegal gun charges and really a harder stance on crime than his predecessor. Do you think these policies will be able to prevent more tragedies like the one we saw today? Look, it's easy to engage in the tough talk, and that's an important thing to set a new tone, and I think Mr. Bates has done just that. But the hard work begins when you actually make cases and try to make those cases stick in court. More broadly, we need a clearer vision of what the actual strategy is. If we're adopting the same strategy as last year, but we're talking tough about it this year, I don't know that anything's going to change. Edmondson Village is a great example of where there is an open-air drug market that has gone unaddressed uh, for years. I don't know how many press conferences I've had at that location urging the city to enforce the law, joining the businesses who have said, please come and stop these people from selling drugs. Somebody's got to take actual responsibility for it. And somebody who apparently saw what was happening told one of our reporters of uh, some kids playing a dice game, dice among some young people with tempers, with reckless behavior and, and guns available is not going to end in a, in a good result through. You know that. Uh, but Mayor Scott today seemed to put some of the responsibility or blame uh, of the shooting on the shopping center or businesses, if you will, and the fact that they're open. Kids know they're open and they're going to go in there. Uh, how do you respond to that? Look, this is the opposite of leadership to blame businesses for a mass shooting. If this is a mass shooting. That is what happened in West Baltimore today, involving five high school kids. And you're talking about Popeyes stepping up and doing a better job? Get out of here. Actually focus on the real problem, which is you have allowed these open-air drug markets, these young people to be failed by our schools, to be failed by our police force. Somebody's got to step up and actually take responsibility. And pointing fingers is the last thing anyone wants to hear. All right, Thiru Vignaraja, thanks for coming in and giving us your perspective. We appreciate it. Thanks for having me.